door don't want any interruptions what's up guys as you guys have already seen from the title today's video is focused not on my morning routine but on my daily routine now i do want you guys to take into consideration a few things before getting started first off um my daily routine does vary day to day depending on the task at hand whether i work on my dad that day or maybe have something else to do um it does vary so just take that into consideration that this is not every day but this is how i'd um, typically like to have it so um every day at 6 a.m i wake up and that's the first thing i wake up because no doubt that's the first thing i do I wake up um, due to my little brother's alarm because he does go to school. He sets it at 6.30. Uh, so I wake up due to that um, by force, basically. <laughs> then afterwards, I go ahead and then I uh, start getting ready. I put on my clothes and then at around 7, I'm in the bathroom, uh, either brushing my teeth, um, you know, fixing up my hair or cleaning my ears, whatever I have to do, taking care of business in the bathroom. Um, that around 7.20, we head out, take them to, to school when I say them I mean my little brothers now I have two of them first is Aidan and then I also have Caleb they're both uh, pretty young Aidan is in middle school Caleb is in elementary and they do go to separate schools and the commute to their schools does take me around 20 to 25 minutes now I am usually the person that ends up taking them to school because my parents uh, I mean, now that they do do it on occasions, I'm typically the one doing it because they, they remember that I am a Lyft driver. Yeah. So after that, I go ahead, uh, make my way back to the house. I then get ready for, you know, uh, some food. Uh, then I go ahead and give my dog some food. After that, I go outside, um, you know, have, have some fun with her. Her name is Nala, by the way, in case you guys didn't know her. Uh, she is probably... The strangest thing in the whole house due to the way she behaves and the way that she is in general. <laughs> She's a huge, lovable um, pet. Um, uh, I do try to play with her from that around 8 and then that around 9, I head out and I go and do lift. Now lift, uh, I've been doing it since the beginning of this year. It's actually a lot of fun. Um, nothing too much to complain about the only thing is that every once in a while i do like to stop and get out stretch i do i typically do lift for about five to six hours whenever i do do it uh like i mentioned it is a part-time job for me um but whenever i do it it is um a little bit difficult because um whenever you're driving in the vehicle for that amount of time you still start getting a little stiff you know in case you didn't know from where i live which is la it does take around um you know from from here to vegas it's about five hours so imagine every day it's like driving to vegas every day every day <laughs> so it's a little difficult so sometimes um uh, i do like to go the max six hours but then when i do that i come back home that around 2 p.m so then I make myself some food, I start stretching a little bit, uh, you know, I relax that. Then afterwards, once I get ready for that, um, once I finish all of that, my bad, I go over and I pick up my little brothers. Uh, they, like I did say, 20 to 25 minutes, depending on traffic. Caleb. Hi. You cold? It was 45 degrees. Yeah? How's school? Now it was like 56 degrees. Oh, okay. Good. After I've picked up the kids, I bring them here to the house. Then they can go ahead and, you know, enjoy themselves and whatever they have to do. And then I come back and I focus on, you know, more to-dos that I have to complete, whether it be running errands or making some phone calls from three to four, I focus on that. Um, basically, uh, my chores that I need to carry out, maybe I need to make a few phone calls. Those are the time that I typically um, dedicate to do that kind of stuff. Afterwards, um, from four to five, that's a special time for me. Because for me, um, because I've dedicated for myself a specific time to read books, to meditate a little bit, whether it be on the Bible, whether it be in uh, some other, you know, financial books, or whether it may be in anything. I focus just on that. Usually around that time, I don't like to talk to anybody. I like to seclude myself. 
Um, I'm typically an outgoing person. I'm typically somebody who likes to hang out with people, but that's a specific time for me. I like to yeah, um, just give that moment for myself, for my benefit, for my growth. And yeah. And then from five to six, I then start getting ready. I start putting some stuff together that I need to put together. Um, and then afterwards, from before I leave the house, I usually leave the house like around six because I, I have stuff to do, um, whether it be church related, whether it be visiting somebody, or maybe even be hanging out with friends. Um, I like to save it for, for that time. But before I do, I always prepare my gym bag. Now, my gym bag, my gym clothes, my shoes and everything, um, for me... That's very important because I am a gym person. I go to four to five times a week. I go to 24-hour fitness. Yes, I am a 24-hour fitness guy. Um, I've spent a lot of time there. Um, for the past two years, I've been going, actually. Um, for the longest time that I can say, 24-hour fitness has helped me You know, feel a lot better about myself. And now, um, afterwards, after I do everything that I need to get done from seven to nine, uh, then I, uh, from after, after I'm typically done, I go to the gym, but I go to the gym at night. I take into consideration. That's the time that is typically free for me. Um, and I don't really like going to the gym when it's packed. So I go at night and at night it's the best time. It's just the best time. So from 10 to 11 latest, 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 because I do have a rule. I don't like to be at the gym longer than an hour, hour, 15 minutes. Because if you're, because if, I, if I'm if I'm there longer, it's because I'm not either putting in the work and I'm just probably on my phone. And I mean, I think that goes for everybody, right? Um, what I like to do is I like to go in, get my stuff done, and leave. After all of that's done, I go back uh, home. I get home. I you know relax a little bit. And the way I detox is pretty interesting, because I don't detox the way other people do it. The way I detox is when I get home, I put on some Netflix. Yeah, that's, that's, and that's terrible. I know, I know it's bad, but the way that I've done is that um, whenever I go home and I put some Netflix, it helps me. So, hey guys, this is Editing Carlos. And at this point of the video, the camera ran out of memory and Carlos before didn't realize. So now I'm over here Kind of have to do it again. Um, so if there's a weird cut, um, you now know uh, it was his fault. So yeah, guys, I also turn on Netflix because it helps me detox. It helps me uh, clear my mind out of everything that happened in the day. For me, all of the stuff that I do at night are crucial. Um, YouTube, it, it might sound something not very healthy. Uh, to go home, watch a movie. Uh, you might think that the best thing to do is probably read a book. You know, I, I could, but I just don't. I just don't go to sleep from that. I've tried it. You know, I've tried counting sheep. I've tried doing all these things, but I've learned that the best way for me, at least personally, is to um, either be on YouTube or watch Netflix. When I get tired, I just turn it off. I go to sleep. And then that, that's the end of my day. That's how I detox personally. Now, many people might have a problem with that. But guess what? This is how I do it. And that's how I'm going to keep doing it. But in a nutshell, guys, that's basically what I do um, in a day. Um, that's my from when I wake up till I go to sleep. Typical, typical. Like I mentioned at the beginning, there might be some stuff that changed, but that's my typical um, daily routine. I wish there was more exciting stuff to talk about. I wish there was more exciting stuff to talk about. I mean, yeah, I do. I do do a lot of things within the day that I didn't mention to you guys. But as an everyday thing, that is my routine. You know, uh, wake up, brush my teeth. You know, then go take the take the kids, come back, feed Nala, and then you know, uh, go do lift or go work with my dad and continue, continue, continue. And this basically every day in the week. Now that I'm gonna be doing YouTube, hey, you might be getting to know. Uh, a lot more of the other stuff. Maybe in, within a year, we'll be able to do another follow-up video. But, um, I mean, now you guys are going to get to know a little bit about editing Carlos. Guys, follow me on Instagram. There I ask questions about what I should do for my next video. Shout-outs to Stacey Pena. She gave me the idea for this video. 
And if you want to help me make the next video, well, every Monday, I'm going to be putting up something in my story. And then you can put your suggestions there. Hey, maybe you can make me make the next video. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed. Come here, girl. Uh, come here. Yeah, that's a good girl. Come here, come here. Nala. Uh. <laughs> Back here.